Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to configure line of business applications. Let's say you want to deploy some kind of MS application or app application. You would be using line of business applications. Let's have a look on it uh, very close with one of the demo. Uh, to begin with, you can log into Microsoft Intune portal and go back to client apps. And uh, here you can create different type of apps. Uh, for example, I can go for uh, add and then I should be able to uh, drop down in this drop down I have different type of uh, applications that I can choose in this demo we are going to learn about line of business applications let's have a look on it how it looks like so when you select the line of business application it will ask you for the a package file so let's check what kind of you know file extensions it's going to accept if you can look at the line of business applications extensions uh, there are you know ipack and application type and msi msi eggs or different application types it is showing here so we would be definitely choosing the required uh, one of the method in my case i'm going to choose msi method uh, because msi method is available for me so i have an application called system center uh, r2 configuration manager toolkit if you are a system guy you might have known by this time it's a toolkit uh, application which we are gonna uh, download and then we would find out the MSI command lines to so just clicking that and downloading so in my case I have already downloaded so I'm just canceling that and I can browse that folder and show that MSI file by showing that it is already discovered all the required um, properties for example the name or the platform app version and the size of that package so this size of the package would be uploaded to Microsoft Intune cloud storage so all together so let's have a look on it uh, if I click on OK um, when I click on OK it's gonna actually upload that uh, once I configure click OK so in the meantime I'm gonna give that description and publish name and if I want to ignore any kind of app versions or, or any of the URL for example I want to give here the URL or uh, maybe including the category for example this could be a computer management example uh, or um, I can enter the URL for example here the information URL that I can enter here once I have this uh, downloaded I can uh, simply go go to the uh, client tools and type the slash question mark that actually gives the command line options so what kind of an you know, options to be given uh, so let's uh, find out like MSI exit that's what it was showing and the path and slash Q uh, it might fail but let's give this uh, to find out you know what other options parameters it to be you know, accepted so as per that I need to give as as well as for the i4 installation so I'm gonna give the similar command line for example here uh, the quiet mode with the install mode so uh, I'm gonna give here uh, not the logging all that but just the we just wanted to for the installation so let's go for the package with the installation option so I'll just you know press the same command but uh, MSI x slash um, I install definitely as per the help I'm going to give that I in this case and uh, if I give QB it's actually gonna show me the entire basic user interface if you are uh, if you are the package or if you are trying to test any of the package we always try go for QB so that the basic um, basic GUI will be visible for us once we are happy with that we will only go for the slash Q command line but uh, Microsoft Intune knows what kind of you know command line to be used so in this case we just you know um, hit this command line it got silently installed we can validate this and uh, let's uh, click on start and you can see they recently added some of the uh, programs has been added already you can check out even the system center uh, in the start button before that I wanted to open up add and remove programs and uh, let's see there whether it is available or not yeah it's already installed you can check out here config MGR toolkit has been installed just now and um, let me show you in the start button too uh, but you know that's a command line what we have used for the installation so if you want the same uh, command line can be used in this command line arguments but since we have already used just the MSI MSI is automated automatedly Microsoft Intune knows that uh, these all the silent installation commands so you don't need to give even the command lines but if you 
are planning for some kind of custom uh, command lines for example you want a log redirection or you want to do some other activities within that command line then you might have to give that uh, arguments into command line arguments and then you need to you know fully test it that way it's gonna work for you but in my case I'm just taking the just the MSI and it works without any command lines that what that's what I wanted to show you here and now uh, since uh, I can click OK here and proceed further with the app uh, information uh, this is where I need to fill uh, very similar information uh, or you know there's the same one which we just talked about right and just click on add that's going to create and also it's going to upload that MSI file uh, to the cloud or into the Intune and it's going to saving uh, this might take a minute so if you can see here application created successfully and uh, if you see the right um, information it clearly says that app is uh, not yet ready uh, because it's still in a progress uh, to upload in fact so you can see here uh, the status um, very clearly that it's still uploading. Once the uploading happens based on the size and the internet speed uh, from your local machine to Microsoft Intune, uh, once it is uploaded, if I just uh, do a refresh, it should be okay. And um, I can do, uh, I mean, uh, I can go to the assignments in later point and simply add uh, group the required group. So I'm just adding a group or uh, and the assignment type here uh, is required or uninstall if you're planning for an installation uh, you can choose as a required or if you want to go for uninstallation you can always go for the uninstallation method uh, if you're trying to remove any kind of application so in our case we are going to choose required so let me take as required and I'm, I wanted to specifically target to a specific users group uh, which I'm gonna create and then add that otherwise um, you can also target this for all users or all devices but I don't want to do that I wanted to uh, more uh, specific for example in this case uh, if you can check out your Intune Lab uh, app, uh, Config MGR uh, install, this is a group. This has the members of two computers in this case. One would be the PC on Prim01, other one would be the desktop hyphen, whatever the computer name. So I'm going to uh, give that computer, uh, I'm going to give that AD group here. So, and if I select that, um, definitely that AD group has a two, uh, a two, uh, computer so it's gonna assign that policy for the two computers so I'm just clicking here uh, definitely I don't want for all users all devices uh, that's why I wanted to explicitly target for that Intune um, LOB app uh, group click OK and then uh, you can click one more time OK and save that's going to save. that's going to save here uh, the complete assignment process and once uh, we're done, um, we can go back to the client machine. If you are if you're in a hurry to uh, force the policy, then we can do that. Like go to the start button and then uh, uh, check at least, you know, f uh, fast uh, whether we have this application or not. So this is just the machine what we have added and it's not available, this specific application, which is nothing but a toolkit. So I'm going to force the um, policy. Uh, just go to account and click on access work our school that's where it's going to show you your intune account so in this case david's account go to info and go to sync which is um, in this case if you can see here uh, the current applications also showing uh, for that specific user but i'm just clicking on the sync and i have to leave for a minute or so so that it's going to check with microsoft intune uh, i might pause and uh, resume the connection in the meantime I'm also going to check here the policies whether uh, whether this policy is if it is evaluated it's gonna uh, show in the device installation status so let me go back to the client tabs and select that specific application in this case toolkit and uh, now the status it is showing as the one device has successfully installed uh, which is in a blue color now earlier it was just the gray uh, without any devices that means the application got installed let's click on that that would actually shows which uh, computer has installed in this case desktop hyphen uh, f07e uh, GJ has installed and uh, you can click on um, device installation status that's going to show you uh, when it is installed and that other information and that's how it's going to work um, if you want to monitor you can monitor and you can go to the 
control panel on the client machine and check out whether this specific application or installed or not there so at this at this point of time you can check out here seven programs has been installed if I start doing refresh it should actually um, show as eight um, now you can see it's eight the count and the Microsoft uh, config MGR toolkit has been installed you can check out here the recently added all that a specific applications are also available i can also check into the uh, system center uh, for example on the base machine also i'm going to show you microsoft system center similarly uh, here also the microsoft system center will be there so inside that all the applications has been installed this is how we are gonna uh, uh, deploy any of the line of business specific applications and uh, i hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this